Hey Joe. How are you, Joe? It's been long. It's been a long while. Hi Travis Horton. What's up? Everything's cool. I just wanted to share this website with you all. I'm at um, a lounge right now, and what they do is they educate, it's like an education tool. It's like an educational tool on THC and CBD. It's like a lounge right now, but basically what they do is like educate you on the different strands and like the chemistry so you can actually find out what works for you. Um, instead of just encouraging people to go around and smoke and get high like they want you to utilize it as a tool to help you know what to take and what form to take it in instead of just going around smoking and getting high out of your mind and not knowing like what you're smoking or what you're taking so if you go to the website it explains they go into the chemistry of it and they have like CBD smoothies for us to like try out. That's what I'm drinking right now. So this one has like the two, I mixed two strands together. I mixed uh, caryophylline and myrcene. Cause y'all know I have PTSD and insomnia and all of that. So I needed, um, I was talking to her. She gave me like a kind of like a crash course in the different strands the different types of plants and I decided to take the, those two strands and mix it in the smoothie so right now I'm drinking a CBD smoothie and of course it has trace amounts of THC because it this, I think the the CBD comes from a certain gland that's shared by the same gland that produces the THC so yeah, got me a CBD smoothie and I'm just chilling. So I'm gonna be chilling, chilling, chilling like a villain. But yeah, as you walk around, the, as you walk around the room, they give you like um, these crash courses on the different strands and the chemistry, and you can find out which strand works for you. There are the smoothie machines over there. They have different, um, they have different strands that you can mix together and stuff like that. And they have like the the um, the chemistry table over there that like breaks down the chemistry of all the strands and stuff. So I'm just sitting here chilling. Let me see what y'all are saying in the chat. Get lit. Go ahead, back. <laughs> are you feeling anything right now <laughs> from the drink? <laughs> Um, the purpose is not to get high. The purpose is to, um, you're going to have some kind of psychoactive effect from it. It's just a complete contradiction to say that just because it's not high in THC, you're going to feel something from it. But the idea is not is, is to treat and to benefit as much as you can from it, not to get high. So if you have anxiety disorder or like say like I have menstrual cramps or something they have like the CBD patches you can use instead of taking the medicine you can even take the, the sublingual oils I take those for like anxiety insomnia and like cramps and stuff like that hi Paul Graves so shout out to everyone in the chat Leonard Jervis 
Joe. Yeah, I'm just chilling. But yeah, like, um, so they just break down everything. Wait, hold the phone. They have strands for menstrual pain. Yeah, they have strands that you can use for pain, like physical pain. And um, they have like the, I wish I had my oils with me. I think I have, I may have one with me, but they have oils that you can take. They have like these pads, these like little, you know, the, um, the patches that you use for like muscle pain. They have CBD patches for that, that women can use for like menstrual pain. Um, I have some of those. They actually do work. They have some that you can use for sleep because I have insomnia. So I use those for sleep. Um, you can do the patches. You can do the sublingual tinctures, like the oils that you place under your tongue. I take those for like my um, symptoms with PTSD and anxiety and insomnia. Um, uh, what else? They have. It just depends. On, like once you find like your your strands or whatever then you can better educate and, and know like what products to buy and what strands that will be more suitable for you and also which strands to mix together to sort of counteract the negative effects of whatever it is you're taking. So the CBD actually, the CBD part of the plant is actually um, that part of the plant that helps ease the negative symptoms or the negative reactions to THC. So CBD is kind of like it helps it helps ease the it helps ease that part of it. So they got this guide right here. You see, they got a guide. See, I'm telling y'all, y'all gotta go to this website, man. It's educational for real. if this book is free I'm gonna take this with me I'm taking this book with me I just saw him bringing a whole slew of them a whole box of them you're welcome you said I much rather prefer to take something natural rather than those OCC killers oh yeah girl don't be taking those pills they're like those are horrible I don't take any kind of pharmaceutical those things are horrible they're horrible for your kidneys they're horrible for you just in general like let me walk over here so I can show y'all something hold on I want to show y'all something let me get my CBD smoothie <laughs> hold on sorry I don't have a gooseneck so I gotta use my hand but I'm gonna definitely sign up to get on their mailing list. But this is one of the So that's the little smoothie machine over there. Got me a CB. As a matter of fact, it's time for a refill. So, because I have anxiety and insomnia and I need to just relax sometimes, I mix these two strands together, which is the Mercine and the Carousaline. And I don't, I don't put a lot, I just put a little bit. and mix that together. And then they have these other strands over here. So I got Purple Punch and Blue Dream. And they have these Strawberry Banana. Pineapple Express. Liberty Haze. Chocolate. Strawberry Cough. And Pink Lemonade. Excuse me, are we allowed to take the books or are they for display? The books are actually, it's something that you can win on scratch off like that. So like this person would have won an matchbox. And so, 
Oh, cool. You can sign up and you can opt in for our mailing list if you'd like. And if not, we just have to scratch off the side. Okay. So you just... Wait, I don't want to get this on there. Probably a little issue with the iPad right now, so. Oh. That's not it. That's the same thing. Okay, so basically you can, oh, you can move on this one too. There you go. Okay. So, yeah. Info, it's opt into the thing, and then whatever pops out. Okay. Thank you. Oh, I'm glad I didn't take that book. <laughs> yep. So, cheers. Salud. Is this thebluntness.com? Yeah, but that's just what I wanted to share. Uh, I'll just let this play for a little bit. All right. Would I invest? Wait, I'm sorry, y'all. I have been out of the chat. Hi, hi, ride. I'm going to do like a live stream about it because I went to a panel event about sex, health, and cannabis and how they've incorporated that into sexual health um, practices and things like that. Would I invest in the weed industry for profit? Um, I would. I would invest in it. Um, but there are a lot of horrible practices. Like I found out, like when I went to one speaker event this morning, that the CBD products that come from Eurasia, or is it Eurasia that they said? Yeah, they're not real cannabis products and they're actually killing people. So I would, in order for me to like choose to invest, I would have to take extensive like classes and really educate myself on the plant itself the practice the law um and the whole industry as far as that's concerned because i don't want i want to know what i'm getting into and i want to know the ins and outs and i want to be fully aware and educated so that i can make the right moves um but i would surely invest in it like i think it's a very lucrative um market so, and it's a worldwide market, so I think that it would be a great, something, something great to invest in. But I wouldn't want to go in like blindly, not knowing certain things. So, I would totally invest in it though, yeah. Mossman, peace to you. Thank you for stopping by. Of it too. So if you have anxiety and you take this strain, uh oh, hold on. So if you have anxiety and you take the strain, let's say via an oil, it will have your anxiety at bay the whole day. Um, it takes time to take effect depending on which um, which uh, form. Like you take it, do you vape it? Do you take the oil under your tongue, the sublingual? Do you take the, do you, are you using a patch? It really just depends. I think the quickest way is through vaping and the sublingual oils. Anything that you have to ingest is going to definitely, um, anything that, the, the, the quickest way is through your bloodstream. So if you're taking the sublinguals, it's going to get quicker. If you're doing the, um, anything edible, you're going to feel the effects quicker. I mean, you feel them quickly through vaping and stuff like that, so... 
I mean, they have even, they, I know at the Health and Wellness Expo, I had um, this uh, lady, she just had just launched her uh, company or whatever, and she was making uh, smokables right there in front of you. Like, she was mixing the oils right there in front of you. Like, as you ordered them, she would make the oils and mix them for you. And I had her make me one for relaxation from insomnia, anxiety, stress, and some other things. Um, and they made smokables too. They were making smokables right there in front of us. It was like so cool. But yeah. But yeah, it does take a while. I mean, you're not gonna feel it the same way. But the thing with um, the CBD products, they have trace amounts of THC, so it's not like they're just THC free. Nothing is THC free because, I mean, it grows in the same gland as the plant that THC does. So it's kind of a contradiction, but um, the thing with the CBD is that the effects are gonna last longer. And it's like a build. It's like you build on it. You have to start yourself off on a syst on a on a scheduled system, and then from there, with consistency, you'll notice that when you don't take it, you'll notice a huge difference. So they have the paste. Like I'm gonna show you the vape that I have. The, I actually have a paste, like a butter in my vape. And this is one for anxiety. And I mixed a little bit of oil in there, but if the camera would focus, you could see that it actually has a butter, the CBD butter in there, like the CBD paste. And this one is for, um, she mixed a strand for me that's like for anxiety, insomnia, pain, and stuff like that. So it's like the butter and I put a little bit of oil in there. And this is my vape or whatever, but yeah. So... And I've noticed a difference. Like, I noticed that when I don't take my oils, like my sublingual oils, because these are the vapables. You have the vapable oil, and then you have the sublingual oil. I've noticed that when I don't take my oil, it's... I, I, I notice right off the rip. Yeah, uh, Nikki, they use it to make uh, edibles. But this is not... Excuse me. This isn't like the the butter that's used for cooking this is just the vapable butter so you can use it like a honey badger or like a vape or something like that but you have the the edible butter and then you have like the butter the paste the kind that you use for vaping and stuff yeah because I really got to stop taking those pills. I need to take them. Yeah, girl. Stop taking them pills. Thanks for answering my question. You answered in a very wise way. Oh, thank you, Paul Graves. Anytime. Yeah, I just wanted to share this because it's like people want to... There's like this whole culture around like... Um, you know, wellness and marijuana and stuff. But people, a lot, a lot of times, are just encouraging people to go out and smoke without really suggesting any sort of resources for educating themselves so i thought i would just do this live stream to show people that there are resources out there and websites and companies that you can look to for education if you don't know where to start if you don't know what you should take or if you don't know if you should vape or oil or whatever i mean this is a great place to start it breaks down the chemistry of each plant each type of plant, each type of flower, the glands, the different strands, all of that. So you get all of that. And there's a lot. There's a lot of resources. So I just wanted to share this. I won't take up much of your time anymore. But I just had to share this because I think that people need to be aware that just because you're smoking a plant does not mean that it's a real plant for one. You could be smoking something that's totally dangerous or totally like artificial and not even like real. And as far as the CBD products and the oil products, it's the same thing. So just be careful and educate yourself and know what you're putting in your body. Um, that's all a part of wellness and well-being and health. Like know what strand you're smoking, know what you're putting in your body, know how it's gonna affect you. 
that way you know what to take and it explains to you the the different psychoactive effects that each strand has and each part of the plant has so you know what you should be taking for your specific ailment or for your need or for whatever use that you want to make of it so that's all i wanted to share and i just want to say thank y'all for watching thank you for stopping by i'm gonna go finish my little cbd smoothie and i'll holler at y'all later salute